Hi, Sharon Brennan here, Cottage Land Stamper. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from the U.S. And um, I know it's only June, but I decided to start a few things for the craft fair if we have one this fall. Um, I'm hoping we do, anyway. Um, Bath and Body, I, I'm on their email list and released that they had some hand, hand sanitizers available. So I've sold these in the past at uh, craft fairs. And this is the new design bottle. Um, and this one is called Gingham. So um, I used some of our retired DSP um, from the Gingham Gala that was out a couple years ago. And I also used the um, retired stamp set, um, hashtag Elfie, for this one. It says no peeking. But obviously you can peek. <laughs> And I had a, the other scent, one of the other scents that I got was called Ocean. So I wanted to do something kind of tropical with it. And I wanted to pair this up with um, the retired stamp set called So Santa um, that came out a couple years ago. So that's the one I'm going to show you today. And um, this stamp set is a clear mount stamp set, so I don't know if you've seen this before in any of my other videos, but I like to convert them um, to the cling stamp sets we have now, and I saved the sheets from my new cling mount stamp sets, and then I cut pieces from them, and I just take a block, cut out a piece, and then make sure you have the backing on it so you know which side goes down and it goes directly down on your block the sticky side down throw that backing away and you can take your take your pick or your paper piercing tool and just lift up a corner and then I turn it over and I now have a clean mold so it's going to stick really well and I'm do that with this one too so because our old clear mount stamps, what they call them, didn't always stick really well. They tend to come off. So peel off the backing, stick this on here. And then just take this, peel it off. And I just cut out a section that I think will fit from there, from the um, from these leftover pieces. So I save them. Probably have more than what I need right now. Anyway, I'm going to do this Santa with the surfboard. I think he's adorable. And, let's see. I need, let's see. First of all, I'm going to use a piece of cardstock to make our little box. And I have made myself a template. So the, um, and I need a piece of cardstock that is three and three fourths by four and three fourths. And I'm going to get my trimmer in here. Get this out of here. And let's see if you can see it there. And we're going to score this at from one inch on this side, something in the way here, there, one inch, it's on my camera stand, <laughs> and then another, flip it over and do an inch, or you can do, if you move it like this, if you want to do it two and two and three for us, you can do it this way. But I just found it was easier just to flip it and do an inch on this side. So, sorry. <laughs> and then we're gonna do an inch. I'll get it off my stand there, that'll be easier. And we're gonna do an inch from here. On the short end. And I'm going to flip it around, and then we're going to do it at two inches here. Now what I did, I moved it up to the three inch mark. 
and just made a little line here on each side and you'll see why in a minute oh and then that's right and then I cut from this score line up here on the um let's see I bring it down there a little bit this score line here on the top part that's got the it's got the two one inch scoring lines on the bottom and line that up with this mark I just made so line that up if you can see that let's zoom in a little bit let's line that up there and this down here and I'm going to cut it and then do the same thing on this side line that up let's see can't see my squirrel I need very well there with this one inch mark and squirrel line is there and cut then we are going to cut I'm going to zoom out a little bit again Whoop. We're going to cut along these two score lines here. There. And then I'm going to put my bone folder and reinforce these score lines. two in here. Now you could use tear and tape too. I uh, wouldn't use um, snail. Um, you need a little bit heavier adhesive. And those are going to fold in like this. Just hold it for a second. And then I'm going to tuck these two on the inside. It just gives it a little bit, um, you can put them on the outside, but I think it gives it a more finished look here. There. there. And then I'm going to use some DSP from, um, Timeless Tropical Sweet, and now this is retired. So you're going to need a piece of for the backing that is. Let's see, um, I had it written down here. Two and I'll measure it. So about two and three fourths by one and three fourths. inches by a quarter. One quarter. So we're going to go six inches. Let's see. Six is right about here. Okay. I said a quarter. I mean three-fourths. And I did that the wrong way. Oh well. We'll just improvise. Change our battle plan a little bit. So we're going to take this strip and wrap it around here. I'm just going to kind of 
pinch those a little bit, so it's a little bit. tighter fit. And then here, I had the measurements written down, but I don't know what I did with them. Probably got covered up by something on my desk. So, then we're going to take some glue and I'm just going to If you wanted to, you can go an inch wide there, cover up the whole bottom, but I kind of like to have a little bit of um, border around it. I'm going to take this piece, and just tuck it, <laughs> put it on the wrong side. I guess we're going this way with this one. Improvise, right? And so that fits in there just perfect, right? It's gorgeous. And then I'm going to take a piece of whisper white. Let's see. Thought I had some available, but I'll just cut a piece here. Stamper little guy with some memento. We're going to use memento because we're using alcohol markers. Stamp him here. And then I chose for our stamp of worms, I have um, dark granny apple, green, and ma mango, light mango melody. And then I think I have the dark, real red. So we are going to color this guy up. I'm going to try to. Then I'm going to take my. Two inch circle punch. Line him up. I think I'd rather get his surfboard than the. There. And and we'll take, let's see, some mossy metal. I need a piece of mossy metal. small piece here. There. And I have my Starburst punch. Oops. I have to do it like this because my hands are very weak. There. Okay, we're going to glue him on there. Oops. Come out of I hold it with my glue bottle. There. And then we're going to take a piece of just a, um, I think we're going to use like a three fourths inch strip. I think that's what I did. No, I did a half. So we're going to do like a, a quarter inch strip here. Force a half, half inch. 
And this one is two and three fourths. So we'll make this two and a half. And I find if I put it down here and then pull towards me, it's much easier to cut these little tiny pieces like that. take our paper snips and do a tiny little banner cut here. Let's cut in half and then go in at the corners and cut. I use this cut a lot. There. And we'll just take a little bit of glue. I like glue because you can kind of slide it. And then just cut in from the corners again. And it's not going to be perfect. So I'm going to tuck that behind there. You can just see a little bit of it. Easier to try, for me to try to line it up, and I'm just going to put that kind of at an angle. And then we're going to take the sentiment ho ho ho, who needs snow? And just a scrap piece of um, wisp white. I should have done that And red. Let's do it in red too. Let's see what it looks like. Clean this off with my little chamois. Love this thing. You can see it gets used a lot. And I'll pull out my real red here. I think I like that better. And I'm going to cut that off. I don't know. Let's see about, about right there. Whatever that is. That's about two and three fourths. And I got my new punch. This is the new. Um, Lovely label pick a punch so you can actually punch three different sizes um, from this. So the smallest is a quarter and just slide it in there until you can feel it hit the end and punch. And then flip it around and do the other end. So you can do a quarter, a half, one quart, one half, I'm sorry, one half, three fourths, and one inch, and they're all in. Um, one quarter inch increments. So and there's two different ends that you can use. So. And let's see. I think we'll put him on here and yeah, maybe angle that right there. Ho ho ho, who needs snow? I'm just going to put glue right on here. Put him there. Up so he... So that when you set it down, that it, um, it's touching the bottom and not going over the edge. So, And I'm going to cut this off a little bit. That's a little bit. I'm just going to put him and we'll open it up here. Just going to use a little bit of glue. I 
there we go so there are our our two little um, hand sanitizer boxes so, and then if you want to step it up a little bit you could put it in one of our uh, clear plastic bags and tie some ribbon around the top so zoom in and get a better look at this so I hope you enjoyed that I'll put the dimensions and um, supplies on my blog cottagelinesnamper.blogspot.com and thanks for stopping in take care and may God bless